Good morning YouTube and thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be episode 3 of Macros 101 and today I'm going to take you through a full day of eating but I'm also going to show you how to use the MyFitnessPal app to enter everything in for your set macros and just so you guys can kind of have a better idea of how to use the app. Today's video is going to show you how to create and follow that meal plan in my fitness pal i'm going to show you how to use the app so let's get started so the first thing i do when i wake up i just woke up not too long ago it's about 9 30 is i wake up and i create a meal plan for myself for that day and for the numbers that i'm trying to hit that day because my macros do change from day to day depending on if it's a low carb day or a high carb day. Uh, some people change depending on if it's training day or a non-training day. So I wake up and sometimes I say, oh, I want something salty in the morning. Sometimes I say, I want something sweet. So basically that's what we're gonna do. So I have my phone and I'm opening up my fitness pal. So if you guys wanna do that with me, and the macros that we are trying to hit today are 125 protein, 35 fat, and 170 grams of carbs. So that is what we are trying to hit. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that when you set up MyFitnessPal, it's going to ask you for goals. So it's going to tell you, ask you like the percentage of carbs, fat, and protein that you want honestly I just enter in a random thing and I just do my own thing like for example I literally have my goals set at 3,000 calories and I am by no means getting 3,000 calories a day so really all I'm focusing on so I can, I'm at my food diary and I go into nutrition all I'm focusing on is those total numbers because there is no way I'm trying to get 225 grams of protein, 300 grams of carbs, and 100 grams of fat. So I just pay attention to this total. The total number is what I'm trying to get at 125 protein, 170 grams of carbs, and 35 fat. And other than that, I kind of just ignore the rest. Um, if you're like super OCD about being on point, you can buy the app but i see no point in even buying the app when you, it just tracks it for you you just it just doesn't tell you how many macronutrients you have left just try to get those totals to your total today i have a little bit more carbs to play around with on my high carb days i always 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 want something like a little treat from that day or something to just keep me sane through the day because i only get about two high carb days a week and so I want something sweet and I have a huge sweet tooth. So step one when creating this meal plan, I decide what I want for that day for the treat. So for example, today I'm gonna be having Halo Top ice cream tonight and I'm also gonna be having this peanut butter crunch. So the very first thing I do is track those, those things. Before I've tracked anything else, I'm gonna track those. So, I have my diary, which I have tracked and absolutely nothing for today. And I'm gonna try, I want this tonight. So I'm gonna track it for meal five. I'm gonna scan this Halo Top ice cream, which brings up that it's 80 cal calories per one serving. One serving has 14 grams of carbs three grams of fat and five grams of protein. That's a one serving, which is a half a cup, but guess what? I want two servings. So we're gonna change this to two servings, which is a total of 28 grams of carbs, six grams of fat and 10 grams of protein. So I'm gonna track that in there because I'm gonna have that tonight for a treat. Okay, the next thing I'm going to track because this is my second treat is peanut butter crunch, my favorite. 
So again, I'm gonna scan this. And the serving size, which you guys see, it just brought up is 27 grams. Which gives you your carbs, fat, and protein. For 27 grams, there's 21 grams of carbs, two grams of fat, and two grams of protein. So I decide I want, instead of 27 grams, I want about a cup, which I'm not sure how much that is, but let's say I want about 35 grams. So I change my serving size to one gram and I tracked it to 35 grams. Okay, so I tracked those very first two things and then obviously I, I need to track milk with my um, peanut butter crunch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and, and add food. I'm gonna search for almond milk because that's the almond milk that I use and I use about one cup. So I'm gonna track that. So now that I have my treat meal tracked for the day, then I go into just tracking everything else I'm gonna eat for the day. So. Since it's breakfast right now, I'm gonna track what I want for breakfast and I'm gonna make it fit with the treat meal in it. So with that, every single morning I sit here and I figure out what I wanna eat and I will show you guys how to do that on the app. What's up guys? So I decided to do this voiceover to kind of explain how to work this app and what I'm doing. So as you guys know, I already have my treat meal tracked so I can kind of work my way around that. Here I am going in to track my very first meal of the day, which is breakfast. So as you guys can kind of see, I'm typing in my egg whites, which is just kind of what I want for breakfast. I'm kind of just thinking and deciding what I want right now. Uh, and then I'm recording this as I go. So then you guys see me typing in just some mini peppers and some mild cheddar cheese, which you guys will see me typing in right now, which I just kind of want to go on my egg whites. So I'm just adding that in there because I know that that's what I want on my egg whites. So again, still kind of deciding what I want. I believe I type in some oatmeal. Yes, so I'm typing in some oatmeal right now, which you guys will see later in the video. I actually end up deleting because I decide that I want something else, which is the beauty of flexible dieting. So then I am going in to, I believe, add some strawberries, which I'm gonna add to my oatmeal, but again, these also get deleted because I decide that I want something else, which usually happens all of the time when I plan my food. It's basically like a science experiment because obviously I'm trying to add up my macros for that exact day. So I have meal one tracked, which I seem kind of happy with. Now I'm going into meal two where I am typing in some white rice because I know that I want white rice for this meal. So I type in some white rice, track that, and then I'm deciding what I want with my white rice, which I decide that I want some chicken. So the serving size of chicken is set at one ounce or at one and I want three servings. So I get three ounces of chicken and I'm also typing in some asparagus because I'm definitely trying to get some nutrient dense meals. Meal three, you see me typing in some pork tenderloin, which again, the serving size is set at one ounce for this. So I am going in to have three serving sizes or three servings. Yeah, three servings because I want three ounces. And then here I'm typing in some red potatoes. The serving size is set at 100 grams and I want about 150 grams. So I set the how many servings I'm at at one and a half servings, which equals 150 grams of potatoes. And then here you guys see me adding some more asparagus to meal three because like I said, I'm wanting to get some nutrient dense meals in because I am having that treat meal um, that night. So here I'm going into nutrition to kind of 
gauge what I want for the rest of the day. And when you go into nutrition, you should be at the nutrient tab and that'll show you where all of your macronutrients are. And then it will kind of show you where you at, where you're at for your macros for the day. Here I am going into nutrition again. Again, I'm on the nutrients tab and I'm kind of gauging what else I need for the day. So how many more carbs, how many more protein, and how many more fat I really need to get in for the day. So then I'm going back to meal one and like I told you guys, I am deleting that oatmeal and strawberries and I decide that I want two pieces of toast instead. So I decide, okay, I'm gonna track two pieces of toast now because I wanted that instead of oatmeal. Again, going into my nutrients just to kind of see where I am for the day and then I'm going in to track meal four. Meal four, I decide that I wanted some top sirloin. So I'm tracking that top sirloin right now and I'm also tracking some rice. And then I believe, again, I go in to check where I'm at for the day. I track my rice and my top sirloin. And then I believe I'm going to be adding some green beans to this. Oh, so I'm actually changing how much top sirloin I want, which gives me a little bit more protein. But it's funny guys, I actually end up deleting this whole meal later in the video too because I decide that I don't want it anymore. I want more of a fun meal. So here, you guys see me adding some green beans, which I actually track, but then again, I decide that I do not want these green beans and I end up deleting them later in the video. So here I'm showing you guys that I hit 170 grams perfectly which is actually what I am trying to get for the whole day. So I'm kind of thinking, hmm, what else, you know, do I want? So then there I just tracked a wedge because I wanted a laughing cow wedge with breakfast. So I did decide to track that. And then again, I'm going back to, I believe, meal four now. Sorry, I have some notes written down, but I'm just kind of deciding what else I want. Okay, here you guys see me deleting meal four because I decided I want something more fun. So, first I decide, okay, I want a PB&J. So I'm tracking all the ingredients that I want for a peanut butter and jelly, which is two slices of bread, some sugar-free jelly, which I believe I'm about to put in right now. Yep, some sugar-free jelly. And then... I think I kind of gauge where I'm at again, but I do decide that I want something more fun for this meal. So I tracked my jelly, and then I'm kind of going back in to see where I'm at with all my macronutrients. And I think I decide I actually need some more protein and fat. So I believe I'm about to track a waffle so I decide I need some more protein and fat so I'm actually going in to track a waffle which I make with protein powder and an egg so that gives me both protein and fat which is what I need I'm not sure if I already tracked my peanut butter for that PB&J but if I didn't I should be doing that now Okay, so I obviously decide I want carbs from a different source, so I delete those two slices of bread. I believe I did already track my peanut butter, but I end up that I I end up deciding that I want oatmeal instead because I freaking love oatmeal. And then here I'm going in to show you guys that I did go a little bit over in fat, so I'm about two grams over in fat. I was about two grams over in carbs and I'm over about seven grams in protein as of now. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to change how much peanut butter I have tracked, which, so I did have peanut butter tracked, and I'm changing instead of 15 grams of peanut butter, I'm changing it to about 13 grams of peanut butter. That way I can hit my fat macro exactly. So here you see me again lowering my grams of peanut butter that I'm gonna have with that meal number four. So then I'm going back in to show you that 
fat is perfect. I hit fat at 35 grams, which is exactly what I need, but I am still over in carbs by two, and I'm still over a little bit in protein by six grams. So I'm kind of going in here to fine tune that. So here you guys see me reducing the amount of egg whites that I'm gonna be eating for the day, which in turn will reduce the amount of protein. And then here you guys see me reducing the amount of asparagus that I'm going to eat for the day in both of my meal two and meal three, which will in turn reduce the amount of carbs that I'm eating for the entire day. Yes, vegetables do have carbs. So anyways, I go in to check where I'm at. I'm at perfectly in fat, 35 grams. We're at perfect number of carbs, 170 grams, but I'm still behind one gram of protein. So here again, I'm going in and fine tuning. I'm literally adding like 0.1 ounce to my chicken, which still I need one more gram of protein. So I'm going in to add another 0.1 ounce of protein, which in turn, I believe sets me exactly at my macros for the day. And that is how you do it. Okay guys, so I just showed you how I make my meal plan every single morning. Um, it's about 10, so we're going to get into our first meal, and I will show you guys how I follow that whole meal plan for the entire day, and I'm going to take you guys with me just because sometimes I do switch things up so I can show you guys how flexible I am. Like, say I'm at someone's house and I'm like, crap, like I can't eat this right now. I'll show you how I can like change things up, and maybe today will go perfect. You never know, but with that, let's get into our breakfast that I just tracked. Okay, so first change with this meal, I decided that I wanted some sati salsa, which I hadn't tracked yet. So, which is simple, I'm just gonna go in, scan this, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have fifth. Let's say I'm gonna have 20 grams of it. So I'm just gonna go in, track that. That was one gram of carb, so in turn, I'm gonna have to go somewhere in my meal plan today and take out another gram of carb from somewhere else. So for today, I'm just gonna take away a little bit of asparagus. So this asparagus has 4.3 grams right now. I'm having 80 grams. So I'm gonna change this to like 70 grams of asparagus. We'll do 65, which takes away one gram of carb from that meal which means I can fit the one gram of carb in this meal. So it put me right back at my macros because I added some a gram of carbs from the salsa, but I took away a gram of carbs from my asparagus later in the day, so it all evens out. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Hey guys, so it is about like four hours later. I'm about to have my second meal. Um, the meal should be up on the screen um so you guys know what i'm having but um so originally i was just gonna have the rice asparagus and the chicken breast but i decided that i want to add ketchup but i'm using the reduced sugar one which only has one carb per serving so if i was on or if i wasn't on prep i definitely wouldn't track this but it does have one carb so instead of having 95 grams of rice i'm literally just gonna have 92 and that should take me okay i need to take away a little bit i'm gonna have 90 actually Yeah, I'm just gonna have 90 grams of rice. Which keeps me right at 170 grams of carbs. So just that's just to show you again that you can make small adjustments in there in your meal plan that just make you equal your macros for the day. So next meal should be up on the screen and I'm gonna cook because I am starving.
All right, guys, we are finished. I hope you enjoyed that full day of eating. Right here, you guys are just seeing my final numbers for the day. So in total, I hit 125 grams of protein, 170 grams of carbs, and 35 grams of fat. Those are the main macronutrients that you will always be looking for. Other than that, I don't really pay attention to anything else on this screen. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any feedback would be very much appreciated just to let me know if this did help. And if you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see y'all in episode four of Macros 101. Bye, guys.